Jack Hadley's passion for black history runs deep, and as you're about to see, it's catching on. Thomasville is known for its roses, southern charm, and thriving quaint downtown. But there's also a hidden gem tucked away in an old school building on Alexander Street. I think this museum, it teaches the kids uh, history more than they can obtain in the, in the books. It teaches them local history. Part of the Frederick Douglass complex became a museum in 2006, but Hadley started collecting memorabilia in the 1970s when his son came home from school one day in Germany, asking his father why his school wasn't interested in Black History Week. That's what got my act together, and what I what I did was <clears throat> he and I put together a collage, and this collage here we cut out Jet magazines, Ebony magazines, and. Uh, we put it together. These articles are included in the Jack Hadley Black History Museum. Jack's son, Jim, was his inspiration then. Now kids like 10-year-old Keyshawn Horton are his inspiration now. I like to do tours about all the things that I like to do, like hearing your flipper, the Jim Crow section, anything that I like. And like kids, they want to come here. I also give them a tour. Keyshawn is a volunteer tour guide at the museum. I did four four tours to peoples, and they and also did the gay tours to the Buffalo Soldiers that was here last time. And I also and they said they told me the hell I did real great. Hearing Keyshawn's enthusiasm and extensive knowledge of Black history touches Jack's heart. This is the reason why this guy is here. Because he got an interest, and I'm hoping that when, when the, if they see this, that other kids will get involved also. Even though I, I spend extra time here, I, I take stuff home at night because I need to spend. I, I'm, I just got it. <laughs> okay, I'm, that's enough. Hundreds of children from our area have visited the museum this month for Black History. There's more than 4,000 artifacts at the museum dating back to the 1830s. People from South Georgia are honored here, like Lieutenant Henry Flipper, the first African-American graduate of West Point, and baseball player Jackie Robinson. Jack says he wants the museum's legacy to continue, and he's sure with kids like Keyshawn, he'll keep the history alive. So there you have it, not one, but two African-American icons. The museum is open Tuesdays through Saturdays. You could spend months taking a look at everything inside. Want to learn more? Just go to our website, WTXL.TV. Jade Belexa, WTXL ABC 27, dedicated to you.